Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can get your car out of the impound lot in under one minute. This is a super easy and convenient way if you're not in a position or you're in somewhere like Palito Bay to actually get your car out of the impound without having to travel there. So it's very easy. You can get your car back super quick, and I want to show you guys this method. So if you do like the video, please drop a like and also subscribe if you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With that out of the way, let's get started. So one of the downfalls to this is it is a little pricey because you are going to have to be destroying your car, although you'll immediately get it back. So if you're doing something like this with an adder, it is going to cost you around 11 or 10 grand. Depending on what car you're using, it could be cheaper. I'm using the Masakro here, and of course, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually get your car impounded. Not intentionally, but for this video, I am. And once you become wasted, what you need to do is as soon as you spawn, you need to pull out your phone, Call your mechanic and you want to request any vehicle. Now, like I said, requesting any vehicle is going to blow up your previous one, but that's how we're going to get it back. From there, you want to pull up the interaction menu, go all the way down to the bottom, and actually commit suicide by killing yourself. Once you do that, you should be spawned, and what you immediately need to do is call Moore's Mutual and get your dead vehicle or the one that was impounded and that we blew up out of the respawn lot. So mine is the Masakro. I'm going to choose that right now. It's going to cost me about three and a half grand. is isn't a whole lot. I've got a little bit over a million. And from there, what you want to do is actually go to the interaction menu and you actually want to hit request personal vehicle and you should be able to get your vehicle back without having to wait. Now, I'm really close to my garage, so it's not like super inconvenient for me to go get my, uh, you know, Masakro out of my garage. But you can see in about 10 seconds here, it's actually going to spawn and boom, I have my car back just like that, just under a minute after it was impounded. So... Right now, my scenario isn't so convenient, but let's say you're in Sandy Shores, or you're up in Polito Bay, or you're up near Mount Chiliad, and you have your favorite car, and it just got impounded. Well, this is a great way to get it back, and it's a super easy trick that you can use. Sure, does it cost you a little bit of money, but it's actually not too terribly expensive. It was three and a half grand for the Masacro, 500 for killing myself, so about four grand in total. And again, if you're up somewhere near Polito Bay where it's going to take you five to ten minutes to get to the impound lot, it's definitely worth the small penny that you have to pay in order to, like, whatever, keep your Merc mission going or stay with your friends up in Polito Bay or whatnot. So very easy way to do this. Hopefully you guys check it out and try it for yourself. Again, leave a comment down below on what A, car you're going to use this on and if this method works for you. Be sure to leave a like on the the video if you did enjoy and of course subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video